recent case that I was able to work on was using the locator overdenture implant, the narrow diameter implant. In a special case here where we had no other options really for this 90 plus year old woman who had a transosseous staple type implant with no bone remaining. Um, so the risks of trying to remove that staple implant, which was no longer usable, it was completely broken off below the bone levels, um, would be too risky for breaking her mandible. So we were able to come up with the solution of finding enough bone between the transosseous posts to place those Lodi implants. And uh, it worked out really well for her and she got what she wanted, which was a retentive overdenture again. We were able to realign her existing overdenture and pick up the housings and she was very happy. So what a nice solution for an older woman who um, really doesn't, didn't have any other option for a stable denture. One of the things that I really like about this particular narrow diameter implant is it's the only one that I know of that has a separate abutment, so it's a two-piece, as opposed to the, the one-piece attachment and implant connection. So when that wears away, you're, you're left without retention. So in this case, we're able to replace the abutment if needed in the future, and we have different tissue height abutments. So this has really helped my patients in these challenging cases where we need an alternative solution. That's where this narrow diameter implant has helped out.